Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Today is day 37 of the 88 step program. And I believe that today is April, what, the 6th? I believe so. April 6th. So, uh, Tuesday. Uh, and uh, we've been talking about how we are taking control of our mind and our thoughts so that we can break free of the habits that we just continuously do throughout our day and life so that we can have different goals or a goal or a focus on our mind, our hearts, our spirit, correct? And we were talking about yesterday how to be grateful for excuse me, everything that you have. And some of the things that we have in life are tests and obstacles. And uh, even let's just say things that we can't understand on how the world or people treat us. Us being you is different than me. But what I'm saying is... If we are aware of the tests and the obstacles in life, we can see that possibly the people that are put into our lives that cause the most damage and the most hurt are actually angels there so that you can break free. What do I mean by something like that? Let's just do a quick, simple example. Let's say you've been uh, looking for a job for a long time in a certain field. You finally break free into that field. Okay, we were using me as an example. I was a travel agent back in the 80s. I figured this was a great way to travel. I didn't have money, so I became a travel agent and had free perks and was flying all over the world for free beautiful part of my life at this time in the 80s. Now, when, uh, wait, 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 da, 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 da. okay, so I, find, I had a couple different jobs within the travel agency industry. I got one job downtown at a pay rate that I could not believe how it doubled almost, maybe even close to tripled my last few jobs. I couldn't believe the pay raise. It was downtown in, uh, one of the skyscrapers down there in downtown. And uh, earthquake happened when I was down there. It was crazy. The whole buildings were swinging and swaying. I like to sidetrack and get sidetracked, don't I? So I got this job down there. And it was a... Oh, I'm sorry. That was a different building. It was a building down the street. And so I met this building at this job as a travel agent making great money. Loved the job. At the end of the three-month probation period, with no warning, they let me go. What a complete letdown. They didn't... I was doing well on sales. I was doing well on my ability to clientele. But it was a personality situation. So, I didn't see it coming. And they let me go. Did it or did it not open up new opportunities? I was so bombed out that I lost this job that when the very first opportunity to move over to Hawaii, I took it and moved and left the state and it created a whole different... Well, it affected my whole family by me moving to Hawaii. Most of my family members moved and lived in Hawaii after that. And all of them have been there to visit. Because of the one simple move of being fired from a dream job. I was having a lot of commotion at home. And the phone calls were being overheard. Which caused issues at this job. Okay? But because of that, 
like I say, created an incredible, uh, I'm glad I don't live in Los Angeles anymore, you know, left in the 80s, at the end of the 80s, and it's, every time I've gone back, it just is, uh, well, it's just different than I would always remember it. So this terrible, you know, I went to school to become a travel agent. I went and had many different, uh, three different jobs being a travel agent before I got this one. So, you know, I mean, I had already been to Europe three times as a travel agent, uh, was taking family members around. So, you know, I mean, it was something that it was really a career. It wasn't just a job. It was a career. And it affected my whole outlook or my whole future by being fired. One of the very few times I've ever, ever, ever been fired from a job. So you never know what the reasons are happening in your life. So let's use this now as an example. I should, instead of being mad or upset at the boss that fired me for personal reasons, should actually be glad and happy that he fired me to open up those opportunities. So, now, do I just forget about that situation or should I think about it and be glad and then go back and bless that scenario and the situation? Instead of holding on to disappointment. I mean, this was these jobs were downtown L.A. Right by Skid Row. It's just, it's who, uh, what kind of a lifestyle would somebody want to be living, making money next to the poorest at the same time? It would just drive, and I saw all this there. I guess it just wasn't for me, obviously. It kicked me out and spit me into a different spot. So again, let's talk about this now. Let's say there's a situation in your life that just feels like you're alone or been thrown out or have been double-crossed or uh, just done wrong for no reason. Uh, by a stranger, by a family member, by a school, by your church, whatever the case is. We've all felt this, if it's true or not. Okay? If it's true or not, we've all been let down by others. It's part of the lesson. As I said yesterday, if you got everything you wanted for, what would you ask for next? Well, you're always asking for something, so the lessons have to come first so that you can get what you're asking for, so that you can at least be aware that you've received them, at least, let's say. So back to the bad things that happen to us that closes doors that then allows other doors to be open. So if there's people in your life that have caused you to go all the way down to despair, say, for whatever reason, a situation, a scenario, an institution, a group, a conspiracy theory, anything, okay? When these things let you down, oh boy, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's see if I can keep it together. There we go. Doesn't want me to do this. It just got it. Is that we go back and we bless the people that have been the meanest to us. We go back and bless the people that caused the biggest heartache in our life. We go back and bless all those terrible situations that happened in our lives that kept us going down that path. Back to here, would I really want that type of a lifestyle? Would I really want that type of a person or scenario or situation in my life if it was going to constantly continue us down a bad path? Go back and pray and bless the people that caused the most heartache and pain in your life to release this. I wish you well. I'll see you tomorrow. All glory to Jesus. No man would do this for another stranger if it wasn't for Jesus and the Holy Ghost. God bless you.